Well, the basic bottom line, we've got some very hot weather ahead of us. A good day, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of our weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you'd like to know more about this and you'd like to stick around and like to see other things that maybe you'd like to see on a weather blog, let me know, austin.onik at wrhe.com, and I'll be glad to help you out on that forecast down toward the bottom of red stripe at the bottom of northeasterly winds for later on today. More clouds expected later back in the 90s. Heading into later on tonight, we'll be looking at where's my pointer going here back into around winds out of the northeast partly cloudy skies early then clearing and temperatures for lows only dropping back into the lower to mid 70s so not exactly what you would call cool and if everything works over the next few days next weekend could be a scorcher out there with temperatures back into the mid to upper 90s whether or not that pans out over the next 10 days we'll see what goes on there happy father's day to everybody out there thanks to my family for a great pre-father's day celebration as our schedules didn't allow us to be together for tomorrow Tomorrow, but thanks to everybody for chipping in on the, some great gifts. We'll show you a little bit later on. Sunshine galore from Vaught Hemingway Stadium at the Ole Miss campus. Beautiful sunrise this morning. You can see a picture of that on my Twitter and on my Instagram page. And from the other side of the campus around Crosby Hall, looking at the construction going on at the Student Union. And showing again some lots of sunrise light out there for this morning. A little bit of foot and or road traffic out there, but otherwise not seeing much of anything going on for the early morning hours of Saturday. From Olive Branch, former Olive Branch Mayor Sam Reichard's web camera on Weather Underground. Looking back to the northwest and seeing again some fairly clear skies for this morning, so not really too much to worry about where it comes to anything involving rainfall. The big problem is going to be exactly what you saw on the camera there. Plenty of sunshine. The ultraviolet forecast today will be at a maximum 10. So if you're going to be outdoors today, again, make sure that the kids are slathered in some good sunblock, SPF 30 to 45 and above, because we will be looking at sunburn taking place very easily into the course of the next couple of days, especially during the early part of the afternoon. Now tomorrow, probably not too bad, about an 8 or a 9, depending on how much cloud cover we get out there, but still is going to be, again, dangerous if you forget the sunblock or decide to stay out in the sun all day long without proper protection, so please keep that in mind. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, nothing to report directly here. One earthquake just north of the boot hill up to around Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and that happened within about the last couple of days, but directly in the Mid-South, we've got no earthquakes to report, thanks to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis and the United States Geological Survey for a great page to get more information about what's going on with the earthquakes across the area and beyond. For precipitation, nothing officially yesterday, even though we had a bunch of rainfall come down across the area. And as of today, we're behind for the month by over an inch and a half. And ahead for the year, that all that rainfall we picked up in around February and March is still on the books and we're looking very much on the good side for rainfall looking good as we have our above for about nine and a half inches out there moon data and sun information if you'd like to pick that up that's also at wreg.com slash weather 14 hours plus of daylight today and into tomorrow the last day of spring summer officially begins on monday at 5 34 p.m going to be very warm out there for the kids hitting the lemonade stand if they're going to be running on that Make certain to add more ice. Again, sunblock would be a good idea as heat index numbers crank up into the mid to upper 90s across the Mid-South. So a good sun umbrella parked under the trees or under the awning of the garage would not be such a bad idea just to be on the safe side there. Looking across the area where it comes to the tropics, not much of anything going on overall, but we are watching with a lot of interest down to the Gulf of Mexico as we see another storm system taking place just around the southwestern parts of the Gulf of Mexico. Now the National Hurricane Center is giving this a 40% chance of development in the next two to five days. Whether or not it becomes a threat to the Gulf, it does not look like too much of a problem there. So far, the current forecast has it tracking back to the north and to the west. So good news on that for the rest of the Gulf of Mexico. But if you are going to be doing anything from, say, around northeast Mexico vacation-wise through Texas, Louisiana, and all the way over to around Florida, I would watch this with a lot of interest just to be on the safe side out there. Again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll give you updates on this when we know about it. Rest of the Atlantic and the Caribbean, we have very little, if anything, to talk about at this time. 
things are very quiet thanks to a lot of dust coming in from off of a, the Sahara in Africa. We have little, if anything, going on in the way of development or any storms out there causing any major concern. So, so far, things are looking pretty good. But once again, if you're traveling to the Gulf, Florida, the east coast of the United States, this could be a possible problem. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest weather information on that. And we'll keep you updated on that throughout the course of the next several days. So if you have any plans for travel, please keep that in mind. And we'll keep you updated on that as we go throughout the next few days. Again, so far not seeing again a major chance of that storm system developing down into the Gulf, but we will be watching that with a lot of interest as we go throughout the next several days. And since we are just beginning hurricane season, definitely a time to make certain that you are keeping it tuned and updated. And if you are going to any hurricane prone areas, just keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. We're going to be reaching the peak of hurricane season again within the course of the next several months, but it's not until about September that we really hit the peak of anything going on. We'll experience a bit of a surge coming up from June into July. August really ramps up the numbers. Again, September's the midpoint. October's a bit of a lull, technically, and then we get a bit of an upsurge around November or so but we still see that potential out there for maybe a normal to near normal forecast out across the area. Temperatures throughout the rest of the day through midday back in the lower to mid 80s. Heading into early this afternoon, we see a couple of things. Temperatures back into the rise of the upper 80s to around the lower 90s. And we could see the possibility of some showers and maybe a rumble of thunder from southwestern middle Tennessee into the News Channel 3 viewing area. But once again, it doesn't look like anything huge so far. We'll be watching that again throughout the rest of the day. News Channel 3 3 at 5 and 6, temperatures in the high 80s to the lower 90s. And as we go toward News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 70s. Heading into later on this evening, temperatures back into the lower 70s by the time we hit daybreak into early tomorrow morning. Father's Day, church, Sunday school, heading through about lunchtime, rising very quickly into the mid to upper 80s, and then dropping again. Maybe a few areas with more shower and thunderstorm chances possible, but just does not appear to be a huge likelihood out there. And toasty for the end of Sunday. Temperatures back by News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday in the upper 70s to around the lower 80s. So lower 90s today, sunny, hot, and humid for spring 2016. Yes, we are still in the spring season season, but we are not quite in the summertime just yet. The solstice actually happens on Monday, precisely at 5.34 p.m. That's when the sun reaches its northernmost point, and after that, the days start getting shorter until we head toward the shortest day of the year, taking place in around December 21st. Throughout the rest of the forecast, chances of showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Not great chances, but still possible. And then by the next weekend, that's where we see, again, some very warm numbers coming on through. If everything holds, temperatures in the high 90s by the time we hit around next Monday. Not this coming Monday, but the Monday after that, looking at temperatures very correspondingly, absolutely rather summer-like out there. Weather where the troops are, think it's hot here. Well, take a look at what's going on for some of the United States personnel in and around Iraq. Temperatures well over 100 degrees of the Persian Gulf Valley. That's again where we see about this time of the year into the upper 90s to around the lower to mid 100s. A little bit more palatable into around the Korean Peninsula, but again for this time of the year, uh, we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Afghanistan, if anybody's looking or relatives there, that's where we see again some temperatures again not quite as bad, a little better in the mountains of eastern Afghanistan and a little hotter down toward the plains just north of Pakistan with temperatures approaching 95 degrees down toward Kandahar. South Korea, comfortable. Temperatures in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s. If you'd like to see more about this, head to our website, wrhe.com. We'll be posting links to that a little bit later on. Join me on all the social media pages out there. This is only about three of them, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you've got pictures from Sunrise, weather pictures across the Mid-South, tweet them to me. I'd love to be able to see them, so put them on there, and we'll get that taken care of. Also, tune in for the forecast available throughout the weekend, my forecast on the EAB Network, Country 92.5, and Oldies 102.5. Three. And also don't forget to protect yourself from heat out there. It's going to be very hot. We'll have an update on the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That will precede CBS News Sunday morning coming up bright and early from 6 to 8 a.m. on Sunday preceding CBS News Sunday morning. And a great opportunity to sit back, relax, and see what the order of the day is and what's been going on across the world overnight. We'll have that for you again early 
Sunday morning. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, send them to me at austin.onic at wrhe.com, and we'll see what we can do about making this your webcast to come back and get more information about weather in the Mid-South. This is our effort to get in contact with you, the online audience, and make sure that you know that we are bringing you as much weather information as we can in the format that you want and need. So if you got anything you want to send or see to us that we are able to feature this on here, please let us know, austin.onic at wrg.com. We'll have more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10, and I'll be here throughout the rest of the weekend keeping you updated on News Channel 3, and of course all of that as well at wrg.com slash weather. Thanks for joining me on the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Saturday, June 18th, and more coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3 on air and online.